Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in to Living the Yogi's Life, where I share with you how to live the yoga life every moment of every day. It's really important that you understand that yoga is not just like stretching. It's actually a spiritual tool that helps you figure out who you are and what you're worth. All of the poses, although they're really kind of cool and they're fun to try and they have some added benefits of bringing health and even fitness into the body. The deeper message of yoga is about kind of what's happening deep within yourself. So think about that each time you come to your practice. As you begin to do the practice more and more, you tune into a place inside of yourself where you can kind of tune into what is authentically real and what's authentically valuable really about your inner self. When you're doing your practice and you're engaging in all of the activities of the yoga poses, it's important to place your attention and your intention really on the inner journey of each of those asanas, each of the poses so that you dive down within yourself and you sort of tune in to the inner being inside. This is a really important lesson that comes from the practice of yoga. Now when I first started the practice, I really realized right away that I sort of have some patterns. These patterns are often called the samskaras in Sanskrit, and they're habit patterns of the mind that become practiced and really automated, so that they're just sort of in the subconscious mind and they happen automatically. Now when everyone Whenever anyone asked me a question, I would sort of immediately respond with like, yes, that sort of was my automatic response. And I never really took time to kind of check in with myself to see, hey, is this really something that's right for me? I would just say yes all the time. Hey, Kino, do you want to go to the movies? Yeah, sure. Hey, Kino, do you want to go do this? Yeah, sure. Hey, Kino, do you want to go on a date? Yeah, sure. And I never paused and said like, wait a minute, do I actually like want to see this movie? Wait a minute, do I actually want to go on this date? Is it right for me? I never took time to tune into myself and figure out was what was authentic. So for me, this was really a lesson in boundaries. And I kind of experienced that in my body too. Like my body was all flip floppy when I first started the practice. I had no boundaries, I would kind of flop around. My shoulders would flop around. I wasn't even really flexible as much as kind of floppy. And you know, like a puppy, you could imagine like a little puppy just kind of flopping around. And you know, one of the things that was really hard for me was to actually kind of say no to myself and say no to people in the world. And it's honestly not something that I do really well, even to this current day. Um, it's kind of hard for me to say no, I stress out a little bit, and, oh, what's gonna happen? But here's something that I've learned from the practice. You are worth it. You're worth it to take time to figure out what is your authentic yes, and what is your authentic no. And sometimes it's right for you to say no, and sometimes it's right for you to say yes. But if you don't take the time to tune into yourself and listen to the voice of your inner wisdom, you will never find your true self. You cannot please all people all the time, nor should you try. The journey of yoga is about tuning into your true self. And when you listen to that message, you'll know whether it's right for you to say yes or whether it's right for you to say no. Now, some people have the opposite as me. They have the automatic no. You know, do you want to go to the movies? No. Do you want to go to India? No. You know, they just think everything's going to be terrible, you know? One's not better than the other. You know, if you have that automatic no, you need to soften your boundaries and kind of soften that hard space, that protective armor that sort of sets you up as a distance between you and the world. So whether you fall on the spectrum of no boundaries or too many boundaries, having healthy boundaries, being able to walk the middle road of the truth of the true self is kind of the lesson of yoga. As though you say to yourself, I'm worth it. Like I'm worth taking that moment to tune in and figure out what's right for me and to own that truth with strength and with bravery in each moment of your practice, regardless of what's happening around you in the world. So think about that when you're trying to lift up or press up into a handstand or headstand or trying to lift your butt off the ground or do a challenging arm balance. Because it's really the strength to stick up for yourself and to say, hey, this is right for me. You might not agree with me, but the answer is no. And to be sort of confident in that. Or you might not agree with me, but the answer is yes. So you gotta find that way between the extremes. And that can feel like you're walking a tightrope over an abyss, over like an emotional abyss, where you don't know how it's gonna work out. And this is why you need that calm, strong, steady, equanimous mind that really essentializes the whole journey of yoga. When you think about your boundaries, pause and reflect on what it really means. And if you find yourself at an impasse and you don't really recognize whether you feel like you want to do it or you don't want to do it, don't take any action. Take time to reflect, pause, listen to your heart, and ask for guidance. And only when you get a ring true from your heart, whether it's yes or no, only take action then. Never feel rushed like you need to take a decision. Never feel rushed like you need to take a yoga pose faster than it wants to happen. Take time, be patient, and cultivate the equanimous mind each time you do the practice. I hope you're inspired to live the yoga life every day. Namaste.